What's up Amazon sellers? Did you just receive an email from Amazon stating that your listing is deactivated due to pricing errors? Well, in this video, I will share with you all about the things you need to know about fixing price alerts and how to fix price alerts on your Amazon account. Stay tuned. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now for four years. And right now I'm on a mission to do 1 million pounds by the end of 2021. I'll drop a link to a video up there. And you know what? I have had thousands of price alerts in my business as well. But enough about me, what are we going through today? Well, number one, I'm gonna talk about what are price alerts. Number two, I'm gonna talk about why they are important. Number three, I'm gonna talk about how to fix price alerts and I'll drop you a screen share and talk that through on my laptop step by step. And then finally, number four, I'll share some top tips with you about solving and resolving these going forward. So let's jump into the content now. Okay, so first things first, number one, what are price alerts? Well, this is when a listing is not priced competitively compared to other sellers. Simply put, your price is either too low or too high based on what Amazon thinks your price should be. And yes, you heard that right, even too low, you will get an alert. Now I'll share with you an overlay around here of a high priced product listing. And as you can see on this overlay, previously one that I had, it states potentially high priced error, consider updating your prices. Now that shows you there of an error that we've received whereby it says high price alert, or fixed price alert for high price. Now what I'm gonna do now is show you another overlay of a low priced error whereby Amazon's telling us that our prices are too low and obviously we need to get them fixed. So even when your price is too low, Amazon will still highlight that for you. Now that leads me nicely onto number two, why is it important? Well, Amazon will deactivate your listings if they see your price alerts or see price alerts on your account, hence why your listing will become inactive. Now, if your listing is inactive, then your products won't be available for sale. And with that being the case, you are not going to be making money. And you know what we want? We want to avoid that from happening. Why? Because we are here to make money. So getting those products on sale is going to be super, super key at all times, avoiding those errors. Quick question for you guys. Are you struggling with fixed price alerts? If you are, let me know how many you're getting in the comments down below. How many per day or how many per week? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, this leads me on to number three, how to fix price alerts. And let's show you step by step. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump onto my computer and I'll show you a step by step tutorial on how to fix these price alerts in your Seller Central account. So let's jump on the computer now. Okay, so first things first, what you wanna do is go into your Amazon Seller Central, make sure you are logged into that. Now, obviously you can see I'm logged in here. Um, if it looks a bit different, this is because this is the old layout, they have recently updated it, so don't worry, it's still the same process, just looks a bit different. First things first, go to pricing, and then go down to fixed price alerts and that's gonna load into all the fixed price alerts. Now, what you wanna do is you can see here, I've got five which are currently inactive. And if you just scroll down, you are gonna be able to see what they are. So here we can see what the, the alerts that I've got. So what we wanna do is go to um, find a product. You can see what they're saying. They kind of give you a tip, you know, potentially low priced error. Um, consider updating your price using the provided reference price. You know, they're trying to help us out. So they're just giving you that information. So have a look through all the products that you've got, but it's gonna just show you, you know, what the errors are that are coming up. Um, now, once you've done that, what you wanna do is come over to the update section, which is on the right-hand side. Um, so if we kind of go over to that now and you can click on the update button, so we'll click on that now. And you can see here it says recommended and then you click edit price. So what we're gonna do is just change the price of the product. And also as well, it's gonna ask us about minimum and maximum. So we'll put in the new price, there you go, 14.19. And then we're gonna update that minimum price. There we go, just updating that now. And then also as well, we'll update the maximum price on our listing. So yeah, 16.06, there we go. Um, and that's there we go. It says resets to recommended price. And then once we're ready, just click that submit button. And then what's going to happen is you're going to wait 15 minutes. And then after that 15 minutes, it's going to update and you should see that fixed price alert disappear. Now, you might be asking what action to take if that update doesn't work. Well, 
What I will say is we must be getting hundreds of price alerts every single month and we've not had a single problem with this process at all. But if you do face a problem, what we've heard from other Amazon sellers is that you can ask assistance from Amazon seller support. So what I'll do is be sharing with you the following steps that other Amazon sellers have recommended doing. And what I'll do is I'll jump on the computer and show you how to raise that seller central support ticket that's just gonna support you if you are still struggling with the fixed price alert. So let's jump on the computer now and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's just jump back in again. Now we're logged into my seller central here. And what we wanna do is just come up to the help section up here. So we'll click on that. And then you want, what you want to do is scroll right down to the bottom, wait for it to load. And when you're ready and it's loaded, scroll down to the bottom, it says get support. You can see it just down here. Now, what we're gonna do is wait for that, click on selling on Amazon, and then type inside your box, which is located, where it says describe your issue. You can see that here. What we're gonna do is say fixed uh, price alerts. Six, uh, let's type it in, fixed price alerts. Continue. Cool. And then what you can see here is you can go through and choose your issue. So say for example, if it's listing not active or detail page updated, you probably do that one, listing not active. But if it isn't and that doesn't work, come back through and go, my listing's not working. And you can go to like FBA related and update that as well, or product, sorry, product listing related. That's gonna help you. Now, once you're done, click continue, and then obviously type in the information, um, click continue, and then go through to confirm your issue. Now that's it really simply, just highlight the issue and put it in through the, the get support and Amazon seller central support will look through that for you. But like I said before, out of like you know hundreds of these every single month we're getting, never have we had to do this. So predominantly that's worked like all the time, all the time. You shouldn't, there should be the exception. If you are having to do it, it's probably something you're doing wrong. So just go back through the video and check that. Okay, quick thing for you guys is fixed price alerts is just another check we have to do in our business. Now, it doesn't take too long, but all these little things really add up and they take us away from the thing we should be focusing on, which is making the money. Now, if you are thinking about scaling your business, growing, and my God, that's what I'm doing right now on the way to seven figures, how do you do it? How do you become more efficient and focus on the money? Well, you hire a team. And if you are thinking about hiring a team, the first thing you should always do is think about getting a sourcing VA. Why? Because the sourcing VA is going to find you leads that you can buy and resell. They add value to your business, which will then make more profits, which can obviously cover more costs. Maybe hiring another VA to do the administration side. But if you are thinking about getting a sourcing VA and maybe not sure, but want to speak to someone, we have a free 30 minute consultation whereby you can ask my team about the whole process where we find, hire, train and support you for 12 weeks with your own sourcing VA in your own Amazon arbitrage business. Have a look at the link down below. I will drop a free link where you can check out our service and book in a free call. We're probably doing about 30 VAs every single month for Amazon sellers just like you, well on their way to six and even seven figures. So check it out, book in a free call today. It could just be the best thing you do this year to help scale that business. Okay, that leads me nicely on to number four, top tips for fixed price alerts. What are they? Well, number one, what I'd really recommend for you is check that pricing tab daily. Again, what I just showed you on that screen share, we are here to make money. So as much as possible, you do not want to have inactive listings. So what you can do regularly is check that pricing tab as regularly every single day as part of the workflow. And as soon as those fixed price alerts happen, you want to get them resolved and get your products back on sale, making you money. Now, second one, what I'd really recommend for you is double check your prices. Maybe you might accidentally have entered the wrong price. So before you update those fixed price alerts, always make sure you double check the prices, make sure you get it right. Now in our business, and you saw it in the screen share, number three, we add in a minimum and maximum price. What we practice our, in our Amazon business is that we set a minimum and maximum price and encode that in our system. And, you know, this is at the point of purchase. So what my VA is gonna do is gonna get that information from my purchase sheet, and then she will use that as a basis for the minimum maximum prices on the fixed price alert. So what you can do is store the min price and the max price at the point of purchase, ready for your admin VA, for example, putting them in, 
onto the system when needed. Now, the other thing which I'll say number four is tweak your pricing immediately. If you see your listings with price alerts, change them immediately to get those products back on sale. I've already said it in number one and I'm repeating myself again, but what I'd say is this is the most important thing. We are here to make money. And if our listings are not on sale, we are not making money. So get those listings on sale. Now, what I will say is fixing price alerts is super important because it's getting your products on sale but just having them on sale isn't good enough. What you're gonna to need to do is win the buy box. How do you do that? Well, using something like a repricing software is gonna be super key. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a link around here to a video I created about what repricing software I use in my business. Check that video out, it's gonna really help you. Now, if you have enjoyed this video and liked it, it's been helpful, give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. But what I will say is from me, Thomas Parkinson and Bartrick FBA, thank you very much.